Hi folks, welcome back. Uh, I went ahead and took care of that center portion, took care of the two lines at the bottom. They're not perfectly even, but because I was trying to rush here, you can take your time with it. Um, I always tell people not to rush with a project, but because of the time on the video, um, I tried to uh, rush it a bit. The next thing we're going to do, I forgot to tell you, is what you want to do is take your blade and try to make a make this come down and this to a point okay on both sides just like so all right and what you want to do is just bring this down and you can do a little bit on the back side to help it out a little bit uh, to make it go a little quicker just take your knife and just cut the edge out a little bit all right so it looks more like an edge and you keep working that down until you have that all the way down same thing with this other little one here uh, you want to do the same thing and what I do is a little cut right there and have that come up just like so all right I kind of blend that all together yeah I cut a little edge off on the back side just to help so it doesn't look so thick and the same thing here we put this to a little bit of a point here just like so and you want to just edge that out a little bit and this way a little bit all right that's pretty well it folks you know keep working on it and detail a little bit more if you like and then when you're done with this what I went ahead and did was um, and same thing over here I'm gonna just get that out so it looks a little more like a point all right so that's your that's your knife uh, the one thing I didn't add to this knife was where and if I can find oh I do have this little part, part right here I did not put on there but you can if you like you can put a little V cut right here somewhere you know for the actual knife I didn't bother doing that because I needed the room for the lettering and then uh, when I painted it I used a copper like a um, metallic copper for the end so I left the the middle plane and then I mixed a little white in and um, I'll think of it <laughs> white and black for the silver color or the gray color for the blade okay and that's it you know and then you can put a couple of tacks on the back and uh, from there uh, you can put it on whatever you're wearing if you go to a show and put your name on it uh, what I use to put the name on is just a fine uh, sharpie pen is what I use okay so uh, it's a fun project to do it took me one evening to figure it out and put it all together I have a little clean up to do with the um, I have to do a little touch up you can spray it with a uh, clear coat of acrylic spray to to seal it up if you want that's up to you and I hope you enjoyed this project uh, what I might do is uh, I might post for a little while on my blog this um, this uh, part of the um, um, in fact there you go there's the actual um, uh, pattern that I drew up and uh, you're welcome to use that for your own use or for your group, okay? Thank you so much for joining me at the Carver's Woodshop, and we'll have another couple of maybe pin projects that I'm coming up with ideas. So, you know, all these projects, folks, can be done in an evening um, or so. This one took a little bit longer because of the, the, uh, the American flag and all that, and that was a little more detailed. But for the show, this is super, you know? And... If you come up to the show, I'll try to have more copies of this particular pattern for you, and I'll give them to you, okay? So if you come up uh, while they last, I won't have a lot of these uh, printed up, but I'll have some of them printed up. Come up to the table and, and say you'd like to have the, uh, the pin um, uh, pattern. And we'll take it from there okay hey folks and do me a favor if you end up doing a bunch of pins for your club take a picture of it I'd love to have that 
um, you know, I'd love to see it and see how they turn out for you folks. And, you know, be creative. You know, you can make them different colors or you can make it a one blade or you can skip the one blade in the back if you don't want all a, a two blade. I just felt it gave it a little more um, uh, strength in the piece. But uh, really, it, it's a fun project to do. Um, if you uh, end up um, doing this project with your group, let me know. I'd love to know how many groups around the country are doing doing them for their for their club. Okay, thanks again, and we'll come up with another project hopefully soon. I don't know. We're getting close to the Lancaster show, and I'm trying to gear up for that, and I hope to see many of you there. All right, folks, take care. Bye-bye.